Hello and good afternoon. This is about fluids now. Fluids is called legacy by some people, but it still works. It's been around in Maya since a couple of versions back. And it's sitting here. If you uh, go to the FX menu, special effects, you find the fluids here. It's a pretty small section. And one of the most prominent parts of that section is uh, how to create oceans and containers and uh, boats and waves. But uh, we will go to the basic uh, settings of the fluids and that's the basic command at the very top. It's called uh, create a 3D container. The, the containers in the fluid um, paradigm are the boxes where the simulation takes part and they consist default by default of two parts one is the box here and one is that little dot in the middle which is called the emitter from the emitter the particles in this case uh, the gas is being um, emitted and it's constrained to the box it will always stay in the box and never leave the box and in order to see how it develops further you better change this set, uh, value here which is by default 120 I don't know why to say 1000 and then the whole animation will go on longer it's a typical T shape which uh, is very natural it uh, follows the a physics equation by Navier-Stokes which describes the development of gas in more or less turbulent environments because the gas interacts with itself and uh, that's pretty complicated and uh, I think 20 years ago it was not a, a possible to simulate this uh, on an ordinary PC not at all not even overnight so now it goes almost in real real time this emitter is an interesting thing and if you look at the uh, emitter tab here in the attribute editor you see uh, many things about uh, what uh, the emitter does and you can change the parameters here according to your taste but let's um, see what the emitter does in geometry you can move it down and put it to the right bottom corner for example right here what does it do now well it develops the gas from down here and the gas reaches the ceiling and moves over to the left in this case by the way if you render this with Arnold you need a light Arnold does render it and uh, if you want to render it with uh, Maya, this is Arnold rendering without light. We can uh, press escape in order to get rid of it. Let's switch to Maya and render it with Maya. That's what you see. It's very similar to this uh, display here. Let's select the box, which is the fluid, and change the base resolution the base res resolution is how precisely the voxels in space are being display, uh, displayed uh, uh, this is a pretty f uh, f flowing gas which uh, has very little contrast and very little detail if we go to 100 for example the whole simulation will run much slower actually we need right mouse click here switch to real time from real time to play every frame and you see it has a very clear border now which it hadn't in the lower resolution so let's go to um, a little bit more realistic value here for the simulation like 30 so that's what we see we have um, here the size. The size is the size of the box. We can use the, the scale commands. It's uh, the same as changing the size of the box here. Um, the display and dynamic simulation. Let's go down to dynamic simulation. You have the gravity, which is set to 9.8. 
if we set this value to minus 1, for example, we have a gravity which inverts the, the behavior of the gas. So it flows on the ground. And then up. We have um, viscosity, friction and damping here. If we turn the damping up, the whole spread of the gas will be much, much slower because there's a lot of damping. You can do this interactively. If you uh, close the dynamic simulation section and go down to, let me see, the surface, we see we're currently rendering a volume, but we can as well render a surface. In this case, a hard surface could be a soft surface. Uh, doesn't make much difference. I think it makes a difference in the uh, dynamic behavior. So that's what it looks like now, like a surface which spreads from the corner to the middle and then fills the tank slowly. Let's close the section of the surface here and uh, here under shading we have the transparency which makes the whole liquid, now it's a liquid, more transparent. We can add a glow which is basically a post-production effect and uh, here we have the color. And the color, we can set the color of course to another color like yellow or blue like this and uh, or give it a gradient and so it looks blue now. The opacity is interesting for gases more than for liquids. And here we see the liquid develop. There's always new liquid being created here. Now my phone is ringing, just a second. Okay, uh, my Brompton has a slight defect and my Brom folding bike and it's uh, been repaired now. It's finished, I'll pick it up in a, uh, in a minute or so when I'm finished with this. Um, okay, so this is constantly being developed. Of course, you can change all the values. You can change the color values. You can uh, change the temperature of the th of the whole thing, which is uh, more uh, going into the depth of uh, the fluid animation and dynamics. Uh, I pick the fluid emitter again, and um, here you, it's just a, an ordinary. <laughs> Uh, object, a node, in, it's, as it's called in Maya, which uh, just sits here. Let's go to the beginning of the animation and press the key um, S, which sets a keyframe here. And now we move the emitter to the left, set another keyframe here, go a little bit further and set it here, another keyframe, and finally Let's go here and set another keyframe. Uh, the whole liquid kind of reacts, tries to adapt, but uh, it's not uh, realistic. It's going to be realistic now. So what we did, we changed the uh, position of the emitter over time. And of course, your objects emit from that emitter. So this will move now. It's a very nice sequence here when this, uh, the liquid interacts with itself. And you can imagine now we're getting close to waves and ocean and all that. All that ocean simulation comes from the fluids which we just discover. Now finally, let's delete the emitter but not the box. So it's empty and nothing is happening now. Um, we'll there's just the fluid. We will uh, introduce an object now, and 
why not a text for a change? And instead of the word 3D or the phrase 3D type, let's just type, for example, the letter A and put the A down a little bit. And with the A selected, let's shift select the box and now go to fluids, add and edit contents and emit from object. It will tell Maya to emit the gas from the A. And since the resolution is the one we had before, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can see that all the simulation of fluids takes part in that container so all parts of the A which are outside of the container don't participate. If we move the A further out this is what we have. So the liquid will only drop from the, from the left parts of the A. Of course we can turn the A around like this scale it maybe a little bit down and move it back into the box like so a little bit higher maybe that's what we get now so the liquid will drip from the A if we choose a higher resolution the voxel res resolution of course we get a, a more clear simulation of the liquid which resembles the letter A then if we want so. And finally let's go back to the gas simulation. Where is it? Here. The blue color. Let's change the color now. Let's change the color to so we get an, another taste for the whole thing to a yellow and the resolution is good here now let's see it's not the surface okay we go to volume rendering again so that's what we have now we have a gas so to say we move the letter a up a little bit like this and the gas flows down very nicely and now we want the to stir up the gas a little bit and we do this by introducing for example any kind of object could be any kind of object really so this is a pretty small sphere we'll make it a little bit bigger like this maybe like this okay move it down and we'll animate it it should go from the beginning, set a key here, to here, then back here, and then back here. So that's the animation we have. That's how it works. That's how it moves from left to right. And maybe, well, back again. Now we want this sphere to interact with the gas and in order to do this we select the sphere which is just a mesh which doesn't have to do anything with the fluids right now and shift select the box now which is the container where the simulation takes part and we again go to fluids make collide which is a bit further down so now we have a collision between this gray disk and the yellow gas. We can hide the A and still the gas will evaporate from the A, yes it does. And maybe we can even hide this thing, control H, yes and it will still stir 
the liquid or fluid or gas up. So I hope you enjoy this and it gives you a starting point for doing fluid animations. <laughs>